guys, and welcome to another episode of Among the Stars of Celebrity Perfume Reviews. So, sorry the camera's a little bit different. Um, I broke the microphone on my other one, and I had to figure out how to fix the whole charger port and all that stuff before I can even use the other camera, or I had to get another microphone, one of the two. So we went back to my old trusty camera just for a little while, and figured I'd film a video for you guys. So, um, I wanted to sit down and film with you guys kind of like a collective haul of what I've gotten since I've been gone. Um, part of this is like split into like what I've gotten since I've been gone and then the other parts like what I got while I was in California recently and <clears throat> I know there's more than what's in here. I'm just kind of going off of what I have, um, what I remember to grab, what like there's a lot here. So we're just going to kind of go through them. They're not in any particular order. I'm just kind of moving crap out of my way because there's so much just over here. Um, we'll start with what I got before I went to California over the course of a few months and then my haul I bought in California. Um, two that you guys have asked quite a bit about are the Lux Rush and the Pink Rush, so Pink Rush and Lux Rush from Paris Hilton. Um, these are really, really nice. This one is kind of like her version of Daisy in a way. Um, it's a little bit more effervescent and bubbly, but it's really pretty. And then Lux Rust is very much Lux Rush, not Lux Rust. Lux Rush is very much like um, La Via Belle, kind of. It's probably her darkest fragrance that Paris has released, um, but still also a really, really good one. Um, I also did pick up in the new Shakira one. This is Red Midnight, um, Dance Red Midnight. This is very similar, in my opinion, to... Um, Rihanna's Rebel Fleur, kind of. It's not the same, but there's a similarity there. Um, I feel like you guys knew that I got this. I got Alien Mirage. This was a while ago, probably before my hiatus, but whatever. Figured I'd bring, let you guys know I got that. Um, of course, we did get Fantasy Intense and Festive. I don't really like Festive. There's something about this it does kind of remind me of Midnight in a way, but it's also really, really, really syrupy, and I don't like that. Um, intense isn't as intense as I was hoping it was going to be. I do really like the color of the bottle. Um, obviously, there now has been announced Sheer and Electric, which I need to get those. Um, I did get the new Jennifer Anderson Beachscape. So this is like a different bottle design from all the other ones. Um, it's still in that kind of like white floral beach esque type scent and not white florals and like heavy white florals very like light beachy white florals um very pretty not your typical celebrity scent which y'all know i hate that phrase anyway but there's that um fantasia or the yeah fantasy why do i not anna sweet um the mermaid one this one's Kind of Dolce and Carbona, like blue-esque, but still a little bit different. Um, I also did pick up, obviously, Ariana Grande Cloud, or Cloud, wow. You can tell what I was thinking about there. Thank you, Next 2.0. I did go ahead and order Cloud 2.0. I pulled the trigger just because Alta had a coupon that was working on fragrances. I'm not sure if that's still active or not, so um, I also did get... Fancy Forever by Miss Jessica Simpson. This is not what I was expecting it to be. I was expecting it to be a little bit more light and pretty. Um, definitely is kind of on that like syrupy floral, um, but also is very heavy, um, but still light. Like not super heavy, but still light. Um, I did pick up the three Kendall KKWs, the Amber, the Olive, and Blue Ronin. Um, I don't remember if those were in the KKW video or not, but I did pick up also the Jeff Leatham, Leatham, wow, um, trio. These are really, really pretty. I do really, really like, um, this one, the Jasmine Air, I believe, is my favorite of the three of them. And then I also did pick up, um, this is Hollister Festival Night. This is a really, really nice vanilla. It is different from a lot of vanillas, but it's also also still pretty safe. If I can speak English, that would be wonderful. Uh, I believe I picked this up at, like, Burlington for, like, really, really cheap. It's a really, really nice fragrance. Um, I don't know if there's anything else in here that was, like, 
before California that I can remember. That probably is, and I'm just completely ignoring all of them. Um, I did pick up the I Am Casherelle. Um, I don't know if you guys can even see that. Can you? No. But anyway, okay, let's just hop into what I did purchase in California. Um, we're going to start with the three things that my best friend gave me because I'm... He spoils me. He's too good for me. I don't deserve him. But as you guys already saw, he did get me God as a Woman, um, which this was the first one that introduced recycled materials for Ariana Grande's line. And it does appear that Cloud 2.0 or Cloud Intense, whatever you want to call it, is um, using recycled materials as well. I really, really like this. It does remind me of uh, Taylor Swift's Wonderstruck in a way. Why? I'm not sure. It just does. Um, then he also surprised me with this which this is Marc Jacobs' Daisy Anniversary Edition, but it's the one with the Swasti Crystals. Because I have... Ooh, I don't know where this camera, like, actually cuts off, but, like, right here is um, the White Anniversary Edition from Daisy. So he knew I collected the Daisies, and he wanted me to have this. And then he also got me the La Juicy Neon. This is a really nice Viva, but it's also super simple. Um, it's very, like, flat, doesn't really, um, change much throughout it, but it's really, really nice. So, if you don't want a whole lot of change to your fragrance, you want something that's really light, really easy, that's a nice one. I do feel like it's probably the, like, most basic of the DNA of the Viva Juicy, but also not in a weird way. It's hard to describe, but it's very simple for a Viva Juicy. Um, I did also pick up Luna from Mina Ritchie. This is a really, really nice scent as well. I was very surprised with it, but the only reason I really picked this up was one for the bottle because it's beautiful. And my cat's name is Luna, so I had to pick that up. Then I got Escada Miami Blossom. This is a really nice tropical. I just threw the lid off of this. Um, mostly pineapple type scent. Ooh, I'm trying to remember which way to go with these block lights. It's not always easy. Um, this is a really nice tropical pineapple scent. I really do like this. Um, in that kind of tropical Escada edge that they normally have, similar to, like, um, what is this one down here that was a couple years ago? Um, Pash Sunset. It's very similar to that, which is kind of similar to Justin Bieber's Next Girlfriend, which is completely different from the original Girlfriend. So if you haven't ever smelled Next Girlfriend, you can get your hands on it. It's very kind of tropical Escada-esque. Um, speaking of Escada, I also got Candy Love, and they did just announce Fairy Love as a flanker to this, which is, like, all red here, and then a white heart in the center. Um, what else did I pick up? I should have went to the other Escada, but I picked up, um, Mugler Show by Terry Mugler. This really surprised me. Um, uh, I was expecting this to not be as nice as it is. But it is just a really pretty, simple floral. But also, I haven't really smelled anything personally to me that smells quite like this floral. Um, back to the Escada, I picked up Celebrate Now. Um, and I know there's like Celebrate Life, I think, is the other one. This is really pretty. Very simple floral, but very, 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 very pretty. Um, then we got... He got one of these initially, my friend John did. Um, and then I smelled it when he got it, and next time we went to Burlington, I had picked this up. This is DKNY Be Delicious Pool Party. I don't remember which version this is. This is the blue one out of the three. There was like a blue, a pink, and a purple, or green. I don't remember the other color. Um, but this smells a lot like Be with Juicy La Fleur, or, um, Britney Spears' Circus Fantasy. That kind of, like, candy, white floral, or candy floral, not white floral, candy floral. With a little bit of musk behind it. Not too sweet, not too floral. It's a very, very nice, like, sweet scent. I really, really do enjoy this one. Definitely was worth it to go pick it up after I smelled he got it. Um, also got Scandal, uh, A Paris, I Need to Get By Night, and, um, what's the other one? Oh, Oh Scandal, so I can get that one. Or So Scandal. Um, I also finally... Almost just threw her. Um, picked up LaBelle. This is the 3.4 ounce, 100 milliliter. The color, unfortunately, has changed, which, I mean, it is an older fragrance. Um, now, at this point, I mean, it's a couple years old. But, um, 
all of them look like this. It's really hard to get that red to stay in there um, because of how heavy vanilla this is. This is such a good scent. If you haven't smelled this, it is like obviously the talk of everything on YouTube. Um, definitely, definitely worth the hype. Um, also picked up another hyped fragrance on YouTube just because I found it for cheap. Um, I am, or I am. Machino Toy 2. This is so good. This is a really pretty floral. It's very simple. It's got a little bit of sweetness to it, um, but mostly just kind of like a crisp, clean floral. And then last, but certainly not least, I did pick up a 3.4 ounce bottle of Stage Edition, just because I'm trying to get all the fantasies in 100 milliliter, which means I need to find this one in 100 milliliter. I think I need to get uh, Intimate, and that's it, maybe? Intimate? Yeah, I just believe Intimate. And then I've got all the fantasies in 100 milliliter, besides needing the two new ones of Sheer and Electric. So there you guys go. There is everything I purchased kind of since my hiatus. Um, I know you guys have been wanting some like fragrance knockouts and um, reviews and stuff like that. So please do go ahead and comment down below what you guys would like to see. I did go ahead and order Cloud. 2.0, uh, Cloud Intense, whatever, which way you want to put that. So as soon as I get that, I will be reviewing that for you guys. Um, but anything else, let me know. I will be, guys... Oh, God. Can I speak? I don't know how to do this. Jesus, I'm sorry. Uh, if you're watching this, I'm so sorry. This has just been a train wreck. But I'm still going to upload it because whatever. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. Follow me on Twitter, and that's Perfume, and Instagram, Among the Stars Perfume. Links are in the description below. As always, guys, thanks so, so, so much for watching. Um, I'll be in the comments reading everything that you guys post there. I'm always on Instagram. I don't always respond. I'm sorry. I have a really, really bad habit of, like, reading the message when it goes across my phone and not actually opening it in Instagram. I'm sorry. If you need me and I don't message, message me a couple more times, I'll come back, I promise. So, there you guys go. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.